tradition holds on to this idea so strongly that even after death even when the body is totally burnt and some parts of skull remain they will smash it and this smash it in such a way that the soul gets to leave from this 12th or the brahmarandra chakra but this is inhuman this is violent and we all fascinated by this question what happens after that what becomes of me don't you ponder also what was i before i was born so somewhere i must have died in the past so when i die now i'll become someone something and this circle goes on and on and on unless of course this new mechanism which yogis have invented from their experiences they have claimed that there is a state that does of liberation or a moksha and what happens to a individual soul that is liberated does it mean he will not be incarnated again not really true liberation is where you have total freedom absolute freedom of being born again or not you may choose to be born or you may choose not to be born again see time is a big thing in gita lord krishna says kalos me meaning i am time time creates and time alone kills this is the inevitable law of time what happens at the moment of death it's worth exploring when death is about to come first of all the element of earth is withdrawn from the basic plexus we call this plexus as muladhara chakra and when this once this earth element is withdrawn from muladhara chakra it moves up to swadhisthan chakra hypogastric plexus this is the place of water element the earth element is then converted into water hands and feet they become cold i want you felt this when someone is dying you'll notice that hands and feet will but suddenly become cold this is the dissolution of water then when water is withdrawn from the hypogastric plexus or swadhisthan chakra and is accumulated here at the solar plexus in the region of our navel or nabhi chakra it then becomes fire the region above the navel above it will become warmer this is the dissolution of fire then the fire is gradually withdrawn and moves upward to cardiac plexus anahata or hridaya chakra where it meets with air mixes with air of the heart region and the whole body it begins to tremble this is the dissolution of the air element after that the air of the cardiac plexus is withdrawn to the ether element and it it somehow dissolves the element which is present at kanta chakra or pharyngeal plexus there a sound is produced at this visuddhi chakra with this sound once the sound is produced what happens the soul takes an exit either to the eyes or to the ears or to mouth and the eyes are turned backward now the element of brahm which is found in individual soul is also withdrawn this is at this point precisely the eyes they turn back and now they merge in the virat element if the soul is liberated then mixing with the virat element 
becomes possible after exiting from Brahmaranda, which is from the back. Where generally, you know, you must have seen elderly people of bygone days used to keep a choti or a ponytail on the back. Exactly there, this Brahmaranda is liberated souls, they exit from this particular point. Unfortunately, tradition holds on to this idea so strongly that even after death, even when the body is totally burnt and some parts of skull remain, they will smash it. And they smash it in such a way that the soul gets to leave from this twelfth or the Brahmarandra Chakra. But this is inhuman, this is violent. A liberated soul doesn't need such blow from a heavy instruments. It just evaporates, it just transcends automatically at that very moment of death and mixes or merges with the Erat, Virat element. So this is in brief what really happens at the moment of death and depending upon the vibratory level of our Atman. If it is Sattvic, there too there is a whole spectrum of Sattvicta. If it is Tamsic, there is a spectrum of Tamsicta. And if it is Rajasic, there is also a spectrum to what extent is it Tamsic or Rajasic or Sattvic and combination of it all. There is infinite possibilities and accordingly there are infinite dimensions. So based on the vibratory level of the soul, it will reach out to that dimension which is compatible to that vibration. Nowhere else will it go. The whole process is reversed when we incarnate.